Hello everyone! In this video, we will learn more about the concentration index and how to estimate it using Stata. When assessing inequalities between subgroups, we're often interested in relative measures of inequality. The simplest relative measure is the ratio, in which we divide group 1 by group 2 and the measure will tell us how many times group 1 is larger or smaller than group 2. As we can see in the example here, the coverage in urban areas is almost twice as high as in the rural areas. In other words, the ratio is 1.7. But what if we have more than two subgroups and we want to consider all of them in our relative measure? One alternative is to use the concentration index, or as we like to call it, the CIX. The CIX is a complex relative measure of inequality that describes how concentrated our outcome is in each group of our ranking variable. The ranking variable has to be a continuous or ordinal variable that sorts our population from the most disadvantaged to the most advantaged individuals. For instance, the wealth quintiles can be used as our ranking variable, in which the poorest quintile will represent the most disadvantaged and the richest quintile will represent the most advantaged group. Let's take a look at the graph for a clear understanding. The x-axis takes our ranking variable, the wealth quintiles, while the y-axis takes our outcome that for the sake of this example is going to be DPT vaccine coverage. In the plotting area, we can see a diagonal straight line that crosses our graph. This is the equality line. It means that if there's absolutely no inequality, the outcome will be evenly distributed throughout the entire population. Now check out the highlighted angle. We can interpret that 20% of our population, which comprises the first quintile, have exactly 20% of the cumulative proportion of our outcome. In other words, 20% of the vaccines that were given to our population were received by the 20% poorest group. If the outcome is more concentrated towards the most advantaged groups, or the richest groups in our example, the curve will be drawn below the equality line. In contrast, if the outcome is more concentrated towards the most disadvantaged groups, or the poorest groups in our example, the curve will be drawn above the equality line. Now let's take a look at another example in which there is inequality and it favors the richest groups. We can see that the poorest 60% of our population only received 30% of our outcome. It means that 70% of the vaccines our population received is concentrated in the 40% richest individuals. The concentration index takes the value of twice the area between the curve and the equality line and is bounded between minus 1 and 1. In this example, the value of the CIX is 0.35. Positive values indicate the inequality favors the most advantaged groups, or the richest, while negative values indicate the inequality favors the most disadvantaged groups, or the poorest. Zero means absence of inequalities. Let's learn how to estimate the concentration index using Stata. The first step is to download the CIX using the net install command. When working with microdata, you can have either a continuous or an ordinal variable as a ranking variable. As for the outcome, we'll be working with stunting in children under 5, coded as 0 or 1. To calculate the CIX, we simply type CIXR, the ranking variable, and the outcome variable. The output will display the estimate for the CIX, the standard error, and the confidence intervals. If we want to look at the graph, we just repeat the command with the option graph at the end. In this example, a negative value for the CIX indicates the prevalence of stunting is more concentrated towards the most disadvantaged groups, which is the poorest group. 
you can find more options such as IHRS correction or the use of sampling weights by typing help CIXR in Stata. All commands presented here, as well as some limitations for the CIX, are available in the description below. Thanks for watching.